I can now officially say that we are out of winter. It is officially spring. If you've been feeling just so excited for the flowers to bloom, the weather to get warm, it's because of something called the spring equinox. And it just almost feels like a new start. But I cannot have a new start if my life is a complete and chaotic mess. So I need to reset my entire routine, clean my entire space, because if everything is clean and feeling fresh and smelling like flowers, then I feel like I am succeeding at spring. So let's reset. Alexa, stop. I'm like in a serious funk. Like the worst funk I think I've ever been. Honestly, step one is identifying the problem, right? Like the problem is me. That is the problem. I need to get myself out of this funk. So happy Sunday. Alexa, open all house blinds. It has been cloudy for like the past three days and I think that's been a huge part of my funk, but I see a little sun. So if there's sun, my life is made. Hold up. Ah, oh, see? I immediately feel better. I have literally not filmed a vlog or like done anything YouTube related for the past like three days. And that's the longest I've ever gone without like filming, posting something like, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but like I'm really checked out. My house is a mess, which makes me feel like my life is a mess. Let's get my life back together, reset, so we can start our week. Ugh, okay, let's get out of bed. I actually didn't even charge my phone last night. Like I just fell asleep, which means that I don't even have a phone to scroll on. That's perfect. Honestly, ever since there was that huge time change, my sleep schedule has not gone back to what it was. Like, normally, I wake up every day at 6 a.m., like, on the dot. But since the time change, I've been waking up at 7.30 every single morning, and I, like, can't revert it back. My goal for tomorrow is to reset my sleep schedule. Sunscreen, since we do have some sun today, my skincare is now completed. I really, dude, tell me, like, how is this real life right now? Like, if you guys have a dog like this, like, please let me you know because I need to feel like I'm not the only one that has a child at home. A child. I don't understand. Like she'll sleep till I tell her to wake up. Or I mean look at she's stretching. Let's go. Stretching again. Let's go outside. Oh, hi, baby shark. Stretching. Mm. She said shut the fuck up. <laughs> this very cute little mason jar that I got from Amazon and I absolutely love. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. And this never happens. They always spill everywhere. Some cold brew. I haven't figured out how to make cold brew at home yet. So I'm still like buying it from the stores, but you wait because I will figure out how to make it and then I'm not gonna spend money on this either. Heavy cream, I just add a splash. And thank you. This is oat milk. hazelnut syrup. This was the last Sunday reset that I did and that was literally January 14th. All right. <laughs> Bruh, not Jake writing some inappropriate shit on my freaking notepad. Let's write down our new to-do list. We do this every Sunday. You guys know the drill. If I don't do it, I don't actually see what I have to do and then I lose energy and then I just fuck up on Sunday, so. Bruh. This is what I have so far. This looks like a very reasonable to-do list. First thing that we're gonna start with is the bedroom because we need to wash the sheets and so washer and dryer just take forever. Let's clean these sheets. I have not washed them in two weeks, so they're giving musty. I'm not the best Give me advice. If there's 
one area in the entire house that I really struggle to keep clean is my bathroom. And honestly, I think it has to do with the fact that I do my makeup, I wash my face, do my skincare, things get thrown around, I'm in a rush in the morning. I think I've diagnosed myself with hoarding issues. Whenever I have any products, like they will be down bad expired, babe. And I just hoard it because I feel really bad getting rid of it. I'm very, very blessed that lately I've been getting a lot of PR, which means that I've been getting new products. So I should for sure throw out all of my expired items, which I need to do a better job at. So I went through my entire makeup and really got rid of everything that's been there for more than two years. We finally got to the vacuuming. I really never thought I'd get here. to load up my makeup it is 11 a.m already and i literally i woke up at 7 a.m but cleaning in here i underestimated it i thought like oh it's gonna take me like an hour or two no thankfully now my entire makeup pull out is so organized nothing like a beautiful curled lash and then we're gonna put some mascara brown mascara always pants with a white top. I like this combo. Let's try it on. Before. Just kidding. I actually put these on. I didn't like the cream. Just when I think it's over. It's never over. There's so many dishes. But you know what? I feel like the more I avoid stuff like this, like the worse it gets. So we're just going to tackle the dishes. Okay, let's load this thing up. Dishes has to be one of the most hated chores in the world, but I actually don't hate doing it. That's all that fits in my dishwasher for the first round. And when you have a dishwasher, why would you wash by hand? So I'm just gonna wait with these dishes so we can do another round. Latte time! Usually this was the time where I would go out and purchase coffee, but I am a new and improved person. You know what's crazy? When you go to cafes, like you never see them do all this extra stuff that I do, but their coffee always pulls well. So like, what's the science? Why do I have to do all these extra steps in order for my coffee shot to come out good? Oh my gosh. just remembered about this. Do GoPros explode or something? Like, I don't know what could have happened if I would have left this in the dishwasher. Stupid. Barista Nat, checking out. Alrighty, finally leaving my house. I feel like I should have left earlier. Like, the fact that it's 12 and I haven't left my house is wild. We are gonna go to some open houses. I feel like what I've been doing on the weekends, I go to open houses because there's a lot of houses that are for sale and they'll do open houses. And it just gives me an idea of what's out there. It's a really fun thing to do with your partner. What? Eat. I was talking about open houses. And shave our armpits. I love doing that. Jake, that's not nice. I'm just kidding. Little hair never killed nobody. It's killing me, bro. Oh. <laughs> Bro can't even grow hair on his face. I'm I don't know jealous. why he's I'm high. jealous as fuck, bro. Like, I don't know what the hate is about right now. Hers and hers, they would both be mine. Thank you very much. This is really nice, Jake. I like it. It's a huge freaking pool, you guys look at. But it takes up the entire yard. This house is super cool, though, because it's, like, facing in the direction that we wanted it to. And it has a pool, but no yard. So Ellie and Thea wouldn't have anywhere to run. In this same neighborhood, we saw some, like, more open house signs. So we followed them, and now we're going to come see another one. This is so much fun. <laughs> Literally my favorite thing to do on the weekend. This backyard is like two times smaller than the last one. But the actual house is really cute. We looked at two houses. It is time to grocery shop. We need to get some more groceries for the rest of the week because my fridge is looking just a little bit empty. These look so good. I'm pretty sure they're in season right now. Getting kombucha because we're fixing our hashtag gut health. Mm. I say that as we have cookies in the cart. Ignore that. So the idea is to get a meat for every day. So we already got turkey. Jake got steak and then salmon. The best. No. Yeah. Jake. Now that I own the machine, I almost feel like I have to juice. I want to make orange 
true, so I bought so many oranges. I have some fresh carrots that we got at the farmer's market yesterday that I also wanna juice. Let's prep all the oranges. I recently found out that when you juice, you actually strip a lot of nutrients out of your drink. I thought juicing was extremely healthy for you. While that may still be true, um, girl math, I would have got zero nutrients if it wasn't for this juice because I would have never actually sat down and ate a cucumber or spinach. And just the entire act of me juicing, for some reason, it just makes me feel healthy. And honestly, babe, fake it till you make it. That's 100% the vibe for me this year. We got our fruits right here. I'm still missing some spinach for the carrot juice. I door dashed it because I forgot it at the grocery store. But let's do the orange juice first. Something's wrong. This is stuck. I have a feeling Jacob put this in the dishwasher, so it shrunk everything. Did you put this in the dishwasher? What is it? The juicer? Um, yeah, I did. I'm about to beat this bitch up. my food. Since it's Sunday, let's meal prep everything for the week so we can get started right. First dish we're meal prepping is tuna, which is my favorite. It's super easy, super healthy. My DoorDasher got here, which means I got all my veggies. Let's peel this cucumber. We got some fresh spinach that we're also gonna juice. This is our green juice. Doesn't actually look very green. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Next thing that we're gonna meal prep is steak bowls. All my vegans and vegetarians, close your eyes. Look at what we're working with. Masterpiece. This is all of the food that we have cooked. I feel so accomplished, guys. Like, we started doing this entire process at 4.15, okay? It is 8.11. Like, this took so long, but it's all worth it because now I have food for the next three days. Let's go upstairs. I can start taking off my makeup. I'm so tired. Like, my legs are quite literally giving out on me. All right, let's do my nighttime routine. Water bank by Laneige. mask on top to seal it. We're gonna watch the Gilmore Girls and we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we're gonna get up early and really start our day on the right foot, the way it should have been, and officially out of a funk. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. How is it morning again? Let's get out of bed. Frankie! I woke up really hungry. This is the before. Da. We got eggos, eggs, avocado, and this is a mix. I don't know if you guys have ever heard it. It's called chilaquiles. It's basically like a tortilla. You cut it up, you fry it, and then you put tomato sauce and cheese. The most bougiest I think I've ever felt. Our OJ that we freshly squeezed yesterday. And lastly, coming up, I just fried two turkey bacons. It's gonna be 71 degrees today, so you know what that means. Summer OOTD. Look at how cute I'm wearing these like mom shorts from Abercrombie and they're super cute because they're like long, they're not like super short. But we obviously need to make our morning latte. It took everything in me to not go buy a coffee right now. Look at that creamy pull. Wow. Perfect morning coffee. Mm. Stinky alert. Even stinkier alert. And the stinkiest alert. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie and Thea, they need a bath so bad because it's been raining for like the past few days so they would get wet and then they would just get mud and dirt and crust. Shower time! Time to wash the stinkers! We're switching dogs as well. Oh, we are not switching yeah, dogs. No, Ellie! Ellie! Ellie, no! Ellie, come! 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 Yes! Come! 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 Come!
stuck with Thea at the dog walk. Thea will throw a fit. Look at her. She's so perfect, bro. She'll just let me wash her and she just chills. She's a happy girl. After Don't. showers, with Thea! What are you doing, Thea Bob? Look at her. Dropped off the girls, and we're gonna make a little pit stop. When I was giving them a shower today, I figured out that they don't have any more shampoo, and it's also gonna be Easter on Saturday, Sunday. It's gonna be Easter, so they don't have any outfits. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a pet wagon, but it also has food bowls. This is their entire spring. They don't have any chickens, but they have this little butterfly. It's so cute. This is what the girls are gonna wear. Look at it, it's so freaking cute. Okay, we're in the shampoo aisle. Look at there's peach now. Oh, it's broken. Okay, that's literally it. I'm not gonna buy them anything else because the more I keep looking, like the more I wanna bombastic side eye. Oh my gosh, they need ice cream in their life. Bruh. Who wants ice cream? Uh, are you Sharky, you got one ice cream at a time, Sharky. Check these out. This is what it looks like in the inside. Taste them. Taste them. Bye, Shark. Let's clean some more. And then we'll officially have a spring clean house. stuff under like this is why spring cleaning is necessary welcome to the area of my life that i have been neglecting for weeks like this place it's not that bad right it could be worse this is just like trash this entire blind is dead so it like won't go up because it needs battery let's tackle this whole place up and clean my first floor let's do it see the idea here it's, it's supposed to house shoes, right? But not like every pair of shoes we own. So it's supposed to be only shoes that are in season. But tell me why there's like entire snow boots. Never know if there's spiders here. You can never be too careful. If the spider's gonna come out, let it come out now. Oh, that's just dog hair. We should be in the clear. robot we're gonna work on the top floor which this was already clean but like because of all of the cooking that we did yesterday we're left with this we have to do something that i've been like seriously putting off like i know i have to do it but i just haven't this right here is my cleaning coffee machine equipment every once in a while they say you're supposed to do it pretty often which the last time i did was maybe like a month and a half ago which is kind of a long time coffee can start tasting funky and it's whole thing that is disgusting oh my gosh we for sure needed to clean this this is my cleaner right here so we're gonna put about a teaspoon into the bowl this little piece right here you see it has no holes at the bottom like your average portafilter because it doesn't have the holes like a normal one would have that's how you make your machine back flush the powder lifted everything off of like the edges and stuff oh my gosh and then i also put them in this which collects like the dirty water at the bottom and oh my gosh it's so gross we're gonna put this little guy back in it's all nice and clean now so we have to screw it back on now we can actually back flush with this here like what we're doing here is it's pulling a shot but it, it doesn't go anywhere so it just goes back in and stop perfectly reset coffee bar done oh my gosh it looks so much better in here everything is cleaned off of the floor i went kind of through and like picked everything up so we can start the vacuum but it's charging it needs to like recharge i feel beyond successful like i wish you guys understood let's change our outfit i'm just gonna put on a hoodie or something because i want to take ellie on a walk look at this new leash that i bought ellie so it's a leash right it like lights up like it has like led lights built in and it's so cool because i always walk ellie like at night and stuff and like this just gives me a little more visibility you know more people can see me hey i think i need to charge it damn yeah. it look at how cute and it matches her fur tell me why like she's ready to go out but she has the damn bone in her mouth and she's chewing on it you can't take it with you you'll be right back just leave it here come on no put your bone right there bruh wow you're super cool ellie look at her 
She wants to go back inside with her bone. Come on. Oh, look at your. Oh, it turned off. Damn it, you died. What are you doing, brother? What are you doing? Get in dad's car. Uber driver. <laughs> to crumble, please. I was taking Ellie on an entire little walk. And then I just see a car pulling up next to me slowly. My balls were dropped. And then I looked and it was Jake. So now we're going to crumble. Because I don't know why. I'm just craving like one cookie. Y'all look at Elon Musk. What you doing, man? Look at that. What is that? We just got here to crumble. And everybody's like recording up. And I'm like, what the hell y'all recording? That, that big ass thing. I said I wasn't gonna buy food. I never said anything about dessert. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take off my makeup, but I feel so accomplished. Almost reset and everything is almost back to the way that it should be. Spring, organized, and just a whole new era of our life.